So it's another thou shall not steal video. My lips are getting so dry these days. Why is my face so shiny though? Hey loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So it turns out that Shakira wasn't a hundred with us as to how she came up with the 2010 World Cup Waka Waka song. This is insane. I do have oily skin, but now it's just turning into a refinery. Remember when Shakira said that Waka Waka came to her on a walk? Walked from the barn to the house and on that walk, boom, it came to me. Well, she lied. It wasn't so much divine inspiration as it was straight up plagiarism, part of it at least, but let's rewind a bit. When FIFA asked Shakira to write and perform the official World Cup song in 2010, there was a slight hiccup because the song that she wrote bore striking resemblance to Zangalewa, a 1980s classic from a Cameroonian group mostly made up of presidential guards. <laughs> When the original song came out in 1986, it was such a hit that it even prompted the group to rename itself Zangalewa. It was also popularized in Colombia by West African DJs where Shakira, a native, likely heard the tune. So when she released the song in 2010 without their permission, it led to negative publicity in an online campaign for the group to be compensated over copyright issues and plagiarism. Not wanting anything to tarnish the World Cup's image, Sonia and Shakira quickly settled and agreed to credit the group. As I've said before, sadly, many African songs are victims of unattributed appropriation because it's easier to get away with. But that's the story, so the more you know. I'm just finding out about this and if i am just finding out about this so i can only imagine how many other people out there that are like me that did not know that something like this went down as an african who sees and hear how non-african sees us as less than humans monkey dumb stupid ugly live in trees walk around barefooted um live in the jungle live in bushes live under the heavens we don't build houses we don't have vehicles we don't go to school we run around with lions all day probably ride on the back of elephants all these animals i've never even seen in my life because <laughs> Yeah, they're in the bushes while I'm in my house. We don't have TV, we don't have the internet, we don't have stove, we can't speak English. Did you just say that Africans have the lowest IQ of any nation? All these stupid stereotypes that I still don't know why somebody who claims to be smarter than us still have in 2021. I mean, <laughs> and this is coming from people who think Africa is a country and not a continent. We, like, it just proves how smart these people are at the end of the day. <laughs> you can't get smarter than that. <laughs> And after all this, you hear that someone who is smart, not ignorant, ugly, or a monkey, not living in trees, running around with lions, walking around barefooted, um, knows about the internet and civilization. You hear that someone like this is now stealing from the African who is stupid and dumb and ugly and not intelligent and walks around barefooted every single day with the lions and elephants and giraffe and um, the hyenas. And then you find out that someone this smart is taking from someone this dumb and stupid. It's hard for me to comprehend because how can you take from somebody who is not smart we are so not smart we are less human but they keep taking from us on a regular basis it's quite interesting that the world cup came to africa for the first time in 2010 and fifa thought it would be best to give shakira the opportunity of creating the song for the world cup and then shakira came and thought um i don't think i'm going to stress myself i'm just going to take what those guys did add a little bit to it and yeah they would love it i'm shakira <laughs> and about giving credit um what could they possibly do with credits and recognition now nah, they're africans they don't need that yeah mm -mm. they don't seem like they need credit to me do they seem like they need credit to you no yeah what they have, what could africans possibly do with credit am i right <laughs> that's what i said dog give credits yeah yeah i'm just going to make it mine nobody would know y'all gonna have to give us our respect it's okay to be inspired it's not okay to blatantly disregard the person who inspired you Good thing there was a protest and that was how Africans actually got the chance to be part of the performance. How black people have to protest and fight for everything. Even when it's happening on our land, we don't deserve it. How they shamelessly say it's just a similarity when the whole chorus is exactly the same thing. So I checked a few articles and posts on the matter before making this video. And I intended to share those articles with you guys, but I was going to make the video way too long. So if you're interested in the article, I'm going to put a link in the description box so you can check it out. When as a white person, you continue to steal and appropriate ideas and concepts and cultures that are not yours. And then you pass it on like your own. You constantly give the world the impression that nothing comes from those places where you are taken from. Because if everything that's coming from there has your face on it, it gives the idea, okay, what are they creating? You guys are not doing anything because everything we have, everything we know, all this good stuff is from these people. Okay, so what are you guys doing? And then when we come out and say we did this, we did that, everyone's like, hey, are you sure? Because I think I saw it with her first. 
And then, of course, when we do it first and they see, they're not going to regard it because it's not coming from the right skin. But then when they take it and then they do it, all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, it's so cute. It's like when the media was buzzing, talking about how Kim Kardashian invented box braid. And like when Bella Hadid went to get her eyes done and she became the image for like the almond eye shape. How the fake trends more than the original is what I would never understand. It took 11 years for me to know and I wanted to make sure that I use my platform to let at least one person know that Shakira wasn't 100% the brain behind the Waka Waka song. And that's it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this video. Um, is it the first time you're hearing that Shakira did not entirely come up with the Waka Waka song like she said she did? Let's have a nice conversation down below in the comment section. And also, if you have other examples of things that have been taken from black people and people of color and given a white face, let me know down below in the comment section because I really want to know more. I know they've been a lot, but I do not have like many examples of my own. So I want to learn from you. So do educate me down below in the comment section. Bye!